Welcome to the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Toyota. Today we come to you from the film room in the brand new Auburn locker room. These are nice digs. It's, 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 this is our teaching area right here, and it's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, you know, Auburn Arena is, is a great facility. Yeah. Um, I love when people say it's too small. I think it's just, just perfect. Yeah. Uh, but our locker room was way too small. And so having remodeled a few homes in my day, you know, you just break into the garage, you know, like you can't, you don't build anything on it. So what we did was we just took the space that we had and uh, we enhanced it. And it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful teaching area. So welcome to yeah. the, uh, to the film room. We come to you after two big home wins for the Tigers, a big come from behind win against Tennessee. And then a game in which you did not trail against Ole Miss, both here at the arena. Did you just say we didn't trail in a game? That's correct. In the SEC? Yes. I, I, I almost would wonder um, if that's like the first time, like all year long, if we, if we, because it seems like we've trailed in all of them. <laughs> but uh, it was a good week, and Ian, uh, um, you know, we came home and, and uh, played against, you know, a couple teams that are in the middle of our league. But like we've seen every night, anybody can beat anybody. Um, Tennessee played great in the first half against us and really hit us in the mouth, and we hung in there and battled back, and, and, uh, um, and, then, and then from start to finish, I thought our defense against Ole Miss was, was really, really good. So two solid ones, and now it's time to take the show back on the road again. We'll have highlights of both of the Auburn wins when we come back on the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Toyota. The Auburn Basketball Review is presented by Verizon, one family, many unlimited plans and by the Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine. You've been hearing a lot about 5G, but there's 5G. And then there's Verizon 5G. We're building the most powerful 5G experience for America. It's more than 10 times faster than some other 5G networks. And it's rolling out in cities across the country. So people can experience speeds that ultra wideband can deliver. 1.7 gigs here in Houston. 1.8 gigs here in Frigid Omaha. Almost two gigs here in Los Angeles. That's outrageous. It's like an eight lane highway compared to a two lane dirt road. five-star backyards, Yellowwood brand pressure-treated pie. If it doesn't have this yellow tag, you don't want it. checking account is not just about free. It's about freedom. Freedom to save without worrying about a monthly service charge, to access your money whenever and wherever you want. Freedom to experience the power of an easy to use award-winning app. Your sister. My sister. How can I send Laura money? Cool. Or freedom to know you can count on people you trust. Opportunities await for those who choose freedom. BBVA, creating opportunities. Welcome back on the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Toyota. Well, Auburn, Tennessee, you talked about all the motivation for Tennessee coming into that game. Yep. And uh, they get out to a 17-point lead, but you come back. We did. And, and, and again, it was Auburn basketball, a real balanced effort. I thought Samir Doughty was terrific, um, hard to keep out of the lane. Um, Jalen uh, Williams continues to play well. You know, Andy, uh, talk about Jalen for a second. My job is to put kids out there in positions to be successful. And I wasn't certain that early in our season that Jalen was ready. I could have been wrong. He might have been ready. Hmm. Or I could have been right. And we're now seeing the fact that he was patient and his family was patient. And they said, look, if i got to play behind these guys all year long, I'll just pick it up next year. 
and uh, because of the injury to Isaac Okoro and some other factors, um, he's playing, yeah. and he's going to play the rest of the season. Let's take a look at the highlights. Auburn, Tennessee, presented by Truckworks. Eve Pons will jump it up against Austin Wiley. The tap is controlled by Auburn to the basket to our left, and we're underway at Auburn Arena. Tennessee man for man. McCormick works against Vescovi, gets a screen from Wiley, picks it up right side of the circle, now out to the top for Flanagan. 19-10 in the first Tennessee ball. Trying to get it inbounds. They do and lose it. Stolen by Dowdy. Samir, right wing, three ball, Flanagan. Yes! All right! Quickly up the floor, Javon McCormick across midcourt. Gets the ball to D'Angelo Purifoy. Off to the right side for Javon. At the wing, picked up by Vescovi. Blows past Vescovi, head fake, in the lane, up and under and in, off the glass. Off to the right wing, James goes baseline. Two pawns inside the arc. Head fake twice, backs down Purifoy, head fake again. Ball knocked away, and here's Auburn two on one the other way. Flanagan drives to the basket, lays it up and in. I wonder if he understands that warning thing. 39-31, Williams, left wing for Dowdy. Samir, inside the arc to Jalen. To Wiley, outside the arc, 16 to shoot. Hands to Samir at the left, right side of the lane. Up from about 12, he missed it short. Rebound into the corner for Cambridge. To Samir, spins down the lane. Head fake, up and under, he missed it. Rebound jam for Jalen Williams. Holy cow! What a rebound. He's picked up there by Bowden. 18 to shoot for Auburn, down eight. Low post, Wiley. Top of the circle, Williams, head fake. Lobs it up off the glass, but he jammed it anyway. Oh my goodness. Biggest lead of the ball game for Tennessee at 17 points. In the lane, J Jamal or Jalen Williams turn around with the left hand, it goes. Drives on Anthony. Gets stripped by Jalen Williams, who leads the Auburn break. Get rid of the ball, Jalen, between the legs, dribble. Left wing, Samir, three, good! Jalen got us a shot by getting in the lane on the dribble. Shoot. Numbers the other way, Javon, Dowdy, three, good! Keep it going, get in it, pal. Now to the top four, Dowdy, nine to shoot. Samir, free throw line, down the lane. Hang shoots, he got it! 8.15 to go, second half, McCormick. Free throw line, Wiley, top of the circle, Javon. Down the left side of the lane, kicks it to the corner. Devin for the lead, yes! All right, gotta have a stop. Give us a stop, don't foul. Boy, it was a, it was a great effort. Had to alter his shot. Oh, and James lost it. To Javon, to the hole, no, got it back. And in! <laughs> Defense will kill you. Wing, 15 to shoot for Robert. Get out of that lane, and he can beat him. McCormick beats Fulkers into the hole. He throws the ball to McC for McLemore. Goes up off the glass and good! Tigers win! Tigers win! 73-66! This was a great win. This was a win that came from Rahan and won with our defense. Coach, you're down 17 in this ball game. It's not the first time your ball club has come from behind yeah. this season. What goes into a team to be able to come back, not lose its poise uh, yeah. as many times as this Auburn team has done this well, year? I think part of it, Andy, again, goes back to our depth. It goes back to playing nine guys, sometimes ten guys. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's February. It's late. It's mm -hmm. early March coming up. And teams are tired. And injuries. And, you know, again, fatigue's a factor. And so I do think that we do, we wear people down. And I think, you know, we, we, we did it at Arkansas and we, you know, we did it at, uh, at home against LSU and, and, uh, and against Tennessee. I mean, they played as about as, but start of the second half, we turned them over right away, the first possession. Um, and we turned Tennessee over, I think, like 24 times. It's, just, it's, it's unheard of. Took great effort and energy. And uh, that was, uh, you know, what enabled us to come back. 27 points off those 24 turnovers. Had some big threes in the second half. Devin Cambridge hit three in the ball game. Samir Dotty not only hit threes, but got to the basket as well in that big comeback. Yeah, it was great. And it was a good, you know, really good balance. We scored the second half. And, uh, you know, we don't shoot the ball percentage-wise very well. And that'd be the one thing that if we could get to where we would shoot more efficiently, 
Uh, one of the reasons why we're such a good offensive rebounding team is because we're such a bad shooting team <laughs> that there's more offensive rebounding opportunities. So uh, if we could start shooting better, we'd start playing better. Another great atmosphere as well at the arena. It was just terrific. Great, great energy. Another 11 a.m. tip, mm. you know, and uh, uh, it was, it was the, the jungle was incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, another sellout. And so uh, I'm so, I'm grateful. That's all the thing I can tell you is, is is to be able to coach here at Auburn, and and have this kind of support, knowing how what a difference it makes for our players. I know our players feel it, and I'm telling you, when I'm out there recruiting, it's an easy sell because yeah. I think people around the country are recognizing that that Auburn is as good a home court advantage as there is in anywhere in college basketball. On the way, the return of Isaac Okoro and a win for Auburn against Ole Miss. All of that when we come back on the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Toyota. Lease a new 2020 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for just $239 a month for 36 months. Power runs in the family. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to Plainsman Park, where anything can happen. Left side, base hit, Auburn wins! Where dreams come true. Come experience it yourself. You've been hearing a lot about 5G, but there's 5G. And then there's Verizon 5G. We're building the most powerful 5G experience for America. It's more than 10 times faster than some other 5G networks. And it's rolling out in cities across the country. So people can experience speeds that ultra wideband can deliver. 1.7 gigs here in Houston. 1.8 gigs here in frigid Omaha. Almost two gigs here in Los Angeles. That's outrageous. It's like an eight-lane highway compared to a two-lane dirt road. This is Holding Court presented by Yellowwood. I'm Brad Law and today we're holding court with Jamal Johnson. Jamal Johnson and we are in uh, Auburn's locker room area. Jamal, what's your favorite part of this room that we're in right now? Uh, I guess this living area would be my favorite part. You get to, um, you know, play the video game, you know, watch TV, watch other games in our conference. You get to eat in this area and just chill out with your teammates. So that'd be my favorite part. Gotcha. What's your favorite game to play? Uh, probably NBA 2K, yeah. 2K20. I play that. Me and the guys play that all the time, and usually, usually I win the most. So naturally, yeah, it's yeah. funny how they all say that when we talk to them. Uh, do you have a particular team or player that uh, that, um, that you try to focus on every time you play? I mean, I usually play with multiple teams, but uh, like on 2K20, I was playing with the Rockies. I like playing with James Harden sometimes, but I like playing with Curry, but he's been hurt all year, so. Yeah. But Rockets this year, so. Very good. Yeah. All right, well, you hadn't been hurt this year. You've been on the floor and you've hit some big threes in games. Just tell me about the, the I guess, the highlight for you this year of, of getting minutes on the floor and helping this team do what it's done. Uh, just this year has been great. I mean, we've been playing terrific so far. Uh, just the atmosphere, the jungle, like just playing at home. Every these big games, the big college game day came for the first time in Auburn history. Playing against Kentucky and all that, that was just so fun. Being able to contribute, playing hard, just playing basketball in college, just, just the funnest part of my life right now. So. You a big game day routine guy? Uh, routine? I usually go, okay, after after pregame meal, I'll um, go home, go to my dorm and take a nap and usually use the bathroom or so. <laughs> but uh, that's really my pregame ritual. But nothing, I pray before every game. That's about it, though. Okay. Um, listen to music before? Oh, I listen to music, yeah. I listen to music. Um, Rap music. My I, I, my go-to song is "Hustle Hard" remixed by 
Ace Hood, but like that's the old song. I usually listen to it every day for a game though. Yeah, very good. Favorite part of game day at home? Uh, at home, just like coming out early and seeing the atmosphere, like uh, everybody's already out, like the student section already packed like before, like an hour before the game. That's just like, that's just crazy to me, seeing that every game. Very good. Thanks very much sure. for spending time with us. Thank you. That's Jamal Johnson and this is Holding Court presented by Yellowwood. The Auburn Basketball Review is presented by Verizon. One family, many unlimited plans. And by the Auburn University College of Veterinary Medicine. Lease a new 2020 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cap V6 for just $239 a month for 36 months. Power runs in the family. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to Plainsman Park, where anything can happen. Left side, base hit, Auburn wins! Where dreams come true. Come experience it yourself. You may know Auburn, but do you really know Auburn? We work hard, dream big, and soar past today's limits to the possibilities of tomorrow. Auburn, if you thought you knew us, Think again. War Eagle. You can kiss that ball a goodbye. And the one, two, a big strike out to Lexi Hanley. One, one, lifted in the air, deep to left, and the Auburn Tigers walk off with a 12-4 victory! Welcome back on the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Toyota. You knew going into Ole Miss that Isaac Okoro was a possibility for you. What was, his, what was your plan for Isaac going into the game? Well, our plan was to try to play him two four-minute rotations in the first half, and then if he felt okay at halftime, two four-minute rotations in the second half, about 16 minutes. <laughs> didn't work out that way. Uh, it did in the first half, but uh, Ole Miss, you know, they got two great guards, and uh, we really, really miss Isaac. Uh, we miss his defense. We miss his toughness. And, uh, um, you know, Samir Doughty did an amazing job on Tyree. You know, Samir does not get enough credit for the job he does defensively. And, uh, uh, but they had two great guards. And uh, I thought our guards did a better job, but, it was, but letting Isaac get back in there defensively, um, I think made a big, big difference. It gives us a chance maybe to, uh, to see if we can't, I don't know, start playing our best basketball. We're not there, you know, we're not there. And we're gonna have to be there as we close out the season because of a couple of road games at Tennessee and at Kentucky and at home to Texas A&M. But getting Isaac back, is really good. Let's take a look at the highlights presented by Truckworks. And there's the tap. It's controlled by Ole Miss. Bad Auburn toss. will go to the back. Is who are left. Low post for C. Eight to shoot. Knight throws it away. Here's Pierre Foy on a breakaway. Dangell underneath drives and scores. Great defense. McCormick drives to the basket, lobs it to Wiley to the hole. Jims it with two hands. Boy, the big man is ready to play today. And Tyree against McCormick to the hole. He missed the layup. Rebounded underneath, though, by Henson. And there's a steal for Auburn, two on one. Dowdy, Purifoy, off the glass, goes oh, with the left hand. Oh, Dangel, looking like the old Dangel to me. Time out. Dowdy, right hash. Tigers up, 13-11. Left corner, three ball, Cambridge. Yep. Brian Tyree, 
against Dowdy. Loses it. It comes to Flanagan on the break. Allen drives to the hole. He put it up. Missed it. Oh, and a rebound jam. A rebound jam no. by Jalen Williams. Tigers up by seven. Dowdy spins. Long three at the top. Yes! All right. Tigers on top, 21 to 11. 8.55 in the first. McCormick underneath. Oh, and the alley oh my goodness. good <laughs> Jalen Williams. Off the left side, underneath it goes for Jalen Williams. Back door, oh, and a champ oh, by oh, McLemore. Holy Moses. What a pass. A behind the back bounce pass from Jalen Williams. And it's down to a four point Auburn lead and they're trapping. Auburn ball, Purifoy, right corner, a Coro three. Yes. Ball movement will get you something. 14-44 in the second half, Auburn ball. Dowdy, Samir bumped. Oh, that's going in. Hole. Good. Woo. Top of the circle, Dowdy. McLemore, oh, all right, nicely played. Okoro underneath for the dunk for Dangel Purifoy. 43-29 Tigers, McCormick drives to the basket, lobs it off the glass and got it. 6.58 to go in the second. Lob, Wiley, double-handed jam. And he got foul. Woo! Schuler, left wing, Buffett, top of the circle. Steve, knocked away, there's a steal by Cambridge. Two on one to the basket with two hand jam. Hey, big time play. Big time play by Devin Cambridge. Javon left sideline to the corner. Cambridge for three. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Off the left side to McCormick. Down the left side, Samir. Penetrates, pull up underneath Wiley. Double hand dunk. What a pass. What a pass. Samir Look will just down. hold on to the basketball. Thank Auburn, you very much. 67, Ole Miss 58. I love it. I love it. Of course, you take a look at the highlights. This game was won on the inside. You outscored Ole Miss 38 to 16 points in the paint. Yeah. There will be games next year that I'll look back mm. and I'll miss Austin Wiley. Mm -hmm. I mean, Austin was dominant uh, from the tip. Um, and uh, it, was, it was wonderful to see. Uh, you know, he just cleaned up every rebound. Um, he hurt them on the offensive glass. He had good hands. He finished around the basket. He got to the foul line. Shot a good percentage. He was the difference. Um, and I think I think our defense uh, was very very engaged. I thought we had great effort and energy. Uh, the second half of the Tennessee game, the entire Ole Miss game. If we can build on that, then uh, then then you know that that gives us a fighting chance. In a year where Auburn has come from behind so many times, you led from start to finish in this one. Started well, yeah. Um, and uh, you know we decided to start Isaac, uh, knowing that he may not play as much. But the idea of getting loosened up before the game, didn't want to bring him off the bench and let him you know snut and sit. And uh, when he wasn't playing, he was on the bike keeping that hamstring loose. Um, he he responded very well post game uh, to to whatever we put him through. Yeah. I actually played Isaac at guard the entire time. Um, didn't play him. We, we never played small ball against Ole Miss. Um, and uh, it could be interesting to see whether or not Danjel Purifoy, Jalen Williams, um, Austin and Anthony, if those guys can hold down the front line so that I can keep Isaac uh, in his more natural three spot. Let's take a look at This Week in Auburn Athletics, presented by Geico Insurance. <laughs> checking account is not just about free. It's about freedom. Freedom to save without worrying about a monthly service charge, to access your money whenever and wherever you want. Freedom to experience the power of an easy to use award winning app. Your sister. My sister. How can I send Laura money? Cool. Or freedom to know you can count on people you trust. Opportunities await for those who choose freedom. BBVA, creating opportunities. Five Star Backyards, Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have this yellow tag, you don't want it. 
you can kiss that ball a goodbye. Wrapping it up on the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Toyota. All right, it's a split week for the Tigers. On the road Saturday in a 2.45 Central Time tip at Rupp Arena against Kentucky. And then back at home for senior night on Wednesday night at 6 o'clock against Texas A&M. Not often can you go into the Kentucky game and talk about the fact that you've won the last two. <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't happen very often. I don't know how many times in my career I could say, yeah, we're coming up with beating Kentucky the last two times. Once to go to the you know, Final Four and then, and then a great game here at home uh, on college game day. Um, they're playing the best basketball right. of anybody in the league right now. Uh, they're very undervalued nationally. I think they got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. I think they got a lot to prove. Um, they're good. There goes three guards together. You know, that's, that's, that's a pretty strong three-guard combination. Uh, I think Coach Calipari likes this team. It's more of a veteran team. I think this is a, a Kentucky team that could win a national championship. Not, you know, most can, but I think this team's got the talent, the chemistry, uh, so it'll be all we want. And then uh, senior night, mm. March 4th, Texas a and Big senior night. It might be the biggest senior night we've ever had. I think I got seven managers yeah. and their families, probably the strongest crew of managers that I've had. Uh, I can't even begin to think about how emotional that's going to be just uh, with Austin Wiley and Dan Gell and Anna Marie. Yeah. Uh, Samir and, uh, and <laughs> Javon. Those kids have done so, uh, have done so much. The winningest uh, group on and off the court. So here we are talking about it before it's even happening. It's hard to even keep it together. Appreciate those guys. You bet. Absolutely. Look forward to this week. War Eagle. War Eagle. Coach Pearl, I'm Andy Bershop. This has been the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Toyota.